So I have with me today Kevin Vickers, and you are running for the, you are already are the leader of the Liberal, Liberal Party. Party and you'll be running in the next election to be Premier of the province. That would probably be the story, yeah. And, and uh, you're from the Mamershi. Tell us a little bit about your well, I, early yeah. days. Yeah, no, I grew up here in what was then called Newcastle. Uh, my father was uh, Bill Vickers. He worked at the co-op. He yes, ran. and the original co-op was right where we're sitting, right here. Oh, the, the original right? dairy is right here behind uh, the town hall. And it would have been uh, in, uh, I believe, around 1952 or so that they moved up to its present uh, present location. But my uh, childhood with great memories. My mother is a Kingston, Monica Kingston. And... Uh, a great family home. And you have roots from Blackville as well. All the Vickerses would have originally <laughs> arrived in, in, uh, in Blackville back in 1827. Uh, I believe there's uh, four brothers or so that would have actually would have, would have been the first arrivals. And the Vickerses would have came from a little place called Arklow Wicklow. And, uh, in, in Ireland? In Ireland. In the county, Ar uh, ca uh, county Wicklow in, in Ireland, and also um, from Port Leash, uh, it's County Leash in, in, in Ireland. And it's very interesting, there's two Vickerses that left Ireland with the same name uh, at the same time. Uh, so they're telling in Ireland if, if you come from either either Wicklow or from Leash. I'd have to be digging up graves and get a DNA test to, to make it sure to make it positive. Which yeah. one you are? Which one we are? Yeah. yeah. So you yeah. have a, a dream of being the premier of New Brunswick. Well, I haven't never had a dream of ever becoming the premier of uh, New Brunswick. Um, I was in Ireland enjoying my role as the uh, ambassador of Canada to that country, which was a real privilege, being uh, that it is my ancestral home. And um, it was early December that I received a phone call, uh, or actually a message, and led to a phone call with some Acadian friends. And uh, they asked to meet with me at, at, when I was home at Christmas time. And uh, when I met with them, um, they asked that I consider to become, to present myself as a candidate for the leadership of the Liberal Party. My father, Bill Vickers, and Martin Legere was a uh, co-op man from Caricat, and they worked across northern New Brunswick promoting the cooperative movement and, yeah. and, and credit unions together, and they, they did incredible work together. They, they were concerned about finding employment for people, ensuring that farmers and fishers got a proper price for the foods that they were raising. and. Uh, it wasn't about French, it wasn't about English. It was about them, two gentlemen, promoting the values, values such as respecting the dignity of people. And so when I went and met my Acadian friends this December, I thought of my father and I thought of Martin Legere and their great dream of what a great province this could be with the French and English working together. But what I heard at Nigawak, uh, I, I I, I, frankly, it, it, it was it not only concerned me, but it upset me a little bit. I heard messages from Acadian people that they didn't feel comfortable, that they felt unwanted. And they asked me questions, what have we done wrong to make uh, people so mad at us? And I said to myself, you know, this is just not right. But what's happened, what's happened to our New Brunswick, that uh, people uh, that uh, are from this province, uh, lived here since 1758, would feel, feel, uh, feel, feel, feel such. So, je pas bien français, I'm, I'm totally bilingual. Um, I uh, thought about my father and Martin Lazier, two great cooperators, two great credit union men who promoted the values of what all, what I believe all New Brunswickers share, in particular respecting the dignity of people. And uh, so that uh, made me decide to uh, pack in my ambassador duties and, and maybe write one last chapter, come back and see what I can do to carry on their dream. Uh, 
they're, you know, I, I want I want their torch to be continued to be carried because we, this is a wonderful province. We have an incredible opportunity here, and I'm uh, convinced that uh, with what I've learned throughout my life, especially great things that have been done in Ireland recently to improve their economy, that I they're can really do. doing well, aren't they? They're it's incredible, and they and they drove off an economic cliff in 2008. They they crashed and and, and burned. 15.7 percent unemployment, the second most indebted country in the European Union, and today they have full employment, and they have the strongest growing economy of all the European uh, countries in, in Europe. And what they did was they, in back in 2008, is they decided to focus on two or three emerging sectors, business sectors that they could focus on. I'm trying to be all things to all people. And then they went out and they hired the very best world-renowned people that they could get to champion each one of those sectors. Social media, technology, and pharmaceuticals. The very, very best that they could find, they went out and they hired in each one of those, those sectors. And then they went to their community colleges, NBCC, and their tech institutes of technology, and their universities, St. Thomas, UNB, Mount Allison, and said, educators, these are the three sectors that we're going to focus on and, and try to build. Can you align your curriculums and, and offer degrees such as masters in, in artificial intelligence? Can you help us out with in pharmaceuticals and, and in social media technology things and line up your curriculum so that we can all be have a straight line to those three priorities? And it's just been incredible. They, they, they every major uh, social media company in the world, LinkedIn, Facebook, Google, IBM, Apple, all the European headquarters are now in there. Every, every, every international pharmaceutical company, including Canadian pharmaceutical companies, are now stationed in, and have offices throughout, throughout Ireland. So you're hoping to steal their model and use it in New Brunswick? <laughs> I'm not hoping to. I'm going to steal their model. I'm going to steal their model. Yes. And I'm going to ask New Brunswickers such as yourself to help me pick and choose what are three things, what are three or four things that we could do to uh, pick as that are going to be our priority sectors. What 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 are they? What are those three sectors going to be that we can focus on and drive things here in New Brunswick? How, you know, what are we going to line up our NBCCs, St. Thomas, UNB, UNBSJ, Mount Allison, and and have a focus on, it, and everybody collectively working together. You know, and there's there's many many great opportunities that. that uh, <coughs> excuse me, cybersecurity, for example. Uh, this is a new phenomena that is just going to expand and expand and expand as as we continue to. Uh, see technology which is doubling every four or five years um, so so that's one area in particular where where UNB has done some good work in the past so perhaps that may be a sector that we could we can think of uh, as being a priority sector and if we can get a niche, niche going and if we can get a bit, bit of critical mass you know I'm confident that we, we would really be Green technologies, you know, the, the climate change is a big, big part of another, one of the reasons I have three small grandchildren. I want them to have good opportunities and, and live in a, a clean and sustainable New Brunswick. So there's incredible opportunities uh, in, in green and the green green economy. Green, we just have to open up our eyes to it and realize the benefits that uh, can come with a progressive uh, climate change plan. Yeah.